John Wilbur Chapman is considered one of the greatest pastors and evangelists of the modern era. In fact, no one up to that time had been an evangelist to as many nations as had Chapman. Through 1912 it was estimated that he had preached 50,000 sermons to some 60 million people. However, it is not Chapman who deserves the credit or glory. All servants of God understand that we are only that, servants. God works through his people in different ways as he sees fit. It is tempting to glorify man, but we are here to glorify God, who gives us the honor to be used in his service, small or large. So rather than revel in Chapman's accomplishments, let me share a story he told at a prayer meeting one evening. Chapman recounted an incident during a prayer meeting where a man shared his testimony. The man recounted, I found myself at the Pennsylvania depot, destitute and homeless. For a year, I survived by begging on the streets. One day, I tapped a man on the shoulder and implored, Sir, could you spare a dime? Upon seeing his face, I instantly recognized him as my father. Father, do you not recognize me? I inquired. He enveloped me in his arms, exclaiming, I have found you, everything I possess is yours. Consider the irony, there I stood, a homeless individual, seeking a dime from my own father, who had spent 18 years searching for me to bestow upon me all that he possessed. As this man testified, our worth is not in what we have, or what we've accomplished, it is in the fact that Almighty God chose us, saved us, and loves us without condition. Many are concerned about their legacies in life. You may have thought about your own legacy while hearing about J. Wilbur Chapman today, but your legacy, purpose, or worth is not any less significant than Chapman's, if you are obeying God's voice and direction in your own life. It's interesting that Jesus said that there was no one greater than John the Baptist. However, weren't there many other figures that God used throughout history who did more, who influenced more, who had a wider impact, who won more souls, or was more well known? Perhaps, but God does not judge us by comparing our accomplishments to another's. He is only concerned about our obedience to what he has asked of us. In Luke 17:10, Jesus told his disciples, So you also, when you have done everything you were told to do, should say, We are unworthy servants, we have only done our duty. In a world that emphasizes greatness by the magnitude of our accomplishments, may the Lord remind us always that we are only servants, and it is not our duty to glorify ourselves. We are happy and honored that we can be used in the service of our King Jesus, to whom we owe everything. To him alone be the glory, power, and praise forever.